Apple. You know, it's legitimately pretty amazing to see how far Apple has come in the last 20 years in terms of software and even hardware. This guy, I think is from maybe 2005, 2007. It's an iPod, so that, that's, a, that's a signal that it's pretty old. This guy is small. Here's the iPad mini. This is the miniature version of the iPad. And it's, it's absolutely massive compared to this thing. This is an iPhone 5. It's an 11 year old phone now, and it's still absolutely ginormous compared to this. It's just, it's pretty crazy. It's dead, otherwise I'd show you what the software is like. As most of you probably know, the iPod was a music player. It played music and, and maybe the occasional game, but that was about it. That's about all it played. Fast forward maybe seven years and you have one device that's, it's, uh, I think it's about as thick as this iPod. The iPhone is a hair th thicker, but only a little. But this device can not only play music, but it can text, call, apps, like Facebook. I really could have come up with a better example than Facebook, but you know, you get the point. This device is about a million times more powerful than this thing, and it's only a little larger, and a large part of it is because of the software of the thing. You know, you can have all this hardware, but if you have crap software that can't do anything, then it's not even a real product. Like, it doesn't matter. And luckily, Apple is known for making the, the good software, right? The good so unlike Microsoft. Unlike Microsoft. They are known for making the good software. You know, iPods, their software wasn't completely revolutionary. Um, the way it connected to iTunes was pretty cool, but that's, but, you know, the software wasn't anything special. iOS was absolutely praised for working so fluidly with the hardware of the device. Yeah, to this day, iPhone software, it's not half bad. <laughs> it's, it's not, it's not that bad. And as some of you know, Apple updates their software every year, and this gets announced at WWDC, or Worldwide Developers Conference. Uh, and basically, at the beginning of WWDC, they have an event, and they talk about all the new software and all the beauties of the next year for iOS, macOS, all of this stuff. And you know, uh, WWDC, it was about a week ago now, and you know, they did announce the next version of iOS, iOS 17. And they did release a developer preview, which this time it was free. And even though I don't really want to, because I've had bad experiences with iOS betas in the past. For YouTube and views and whatever, let's install it. To do this, it's actually really easy on iOS 16. So we just go to beta updates and uh, I don't want to click that, but we are. So now we're on the uh, iOS 17 developer beta. There it is. I'm about to make a terrible mistake, but there we go. And uh, yeah, no, you think I'd be showing you my password. I am not. Oh, nope, nope, nope. There it goes. Update requested. Actually, hang on. I'm gonna grab something. This is gonna be terribly long and annoying. And uh, guess what? You get to suffer too. Guys, it said it'd take four minutes. It's been nearly seven. Apple, you lied to me. I think that number is a lot larger than four minutes. What do you think? Almost there come on you, you you can do it come on come on oh come on oh oh no 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 no, no. later oh that was long <laughs> that that was really long that was what some would call Painful. So it took four minutes to download it, right? And then it took 18 minutes to get the update ready to install. 
Oh, that makes me mad. Like I could have, I, I, that was crazy. And I, I, I sat here for the entire 22 minutes. And I've, uh, I just hit okay on this terrible, terrible decision. Yeah, it's gonna take another nine hours. So, um, you know. Can you say painful? You know what? Shove all this aside. And welcome back to another episode of Old Stuff ASMR. Oh, you hear that? That's called the middle button. Oh, and you hear that? It's totally different. It's called the menu button. You can hear the difference. This is the forward button. She's turning on. Is that... Are we, are we done? Are, are we... Please, please tell me we're done. Oh, no. I think it just actually started the install process. It, it, it was just prepping before, I think. So we're gonna have to wait a lot longer. Apple! Oh, 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 it worked. Oh, it finished. I think I started the install process about 15 minutes ago. Oh, that was, that was bad. I didn't like that, okay? I didn't like that. I guess now we need to set it up. Oh, there's the passcode again. Your iPhone has been updated to iOS 17.0. Yes. Okay, Apple Pay. Set up later. I don't need Apple stealing my credit card information. No, not now. Oh, okay. Okay. This, this is the big moment. Get started and my homepage looks exactly the same as it did before. <laughs> I guess I get to explore some of the new things in this update. At first glances though, there's um, there's not really anything that interesting here. I do have one question. My uh, my Apple Watch isn't showing up here. Is it uh, is it paired? No, it, 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 it definitely is paired. So this, this is very hot right now. Probably one of the hottest temperatures it's been since the entirety of me owning this. That was a waste of time. But if we go in here to about, you can see that I am indeed on iOS 17.0. Moral of the story, don't install betas on your devices, whether they're your main devices or your side devices. It's boring and it's a, <laughs> it's a mistake you'll live to regret. That's about it. Thank you guys for watching. Please check out some of my other channels. You know, I have uh, Ghost Storm Plays. It's my Minecraft gaming channel. I have Simply Minecraft, which is my Minecraft ambience channel. Uh, tons of content for you to go and waste your time on. Yep. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I've had to re-record this intro maybe five times, but I'll see you all in the next one.